Hello everyone, we're back for episode 4 of our comic book poll list. The first week in July, the 4th of July, and it looks like this week is going to be explosive when it comes to the amount of comic books and the good things that are coming out. Uh, before we get into the books, just finished the uh, second season of Luke Cage, and I loved it. Uh, watched it with the wife, finished it in two days. Really great show. I cannot complain at all. And uh, anyone that's confused about the ending of that season, uh, just pick up the last series run of Power Man and Iron Fist, and you'll get a little glimpse of what Luke Cage is becoming. But anyway, we're going to get into these books. We're going to start off with uh, Dark Horse Comics. Only looking at one book from them this coming week. And that's Sword Daughter number 2 by Brian Wood and Mac Chatter. And uh, that has two covers. has a Mac Chatter variant and the regular cover is by Greg Smallwood. On to DC Comics. Uh, of course, we have The Wedding this week, Batman number 50. And that has a ridiculous amount of variants. I believe, uh, I guess the regular price covers would be the uh, Mikhail Janin cover, the Arthur Adams cover, the Jim Lee cover, and the variant blank cover so you can look to pick those up and I believe various different comic book outlets have all the other covers the only one that I was looking at Mark Brooks has a cover which is fantastic and now we have Catwoman number one by Joe Lee Jones and there's three covers for that that I know of Jolie Jones cover, an Art Germ cover, and a blank cover. Also this week we have The Curse of a Brimstone number four by Justin Jordan and Philip Tan. I'm not reading that, but uh, I guess you can look to grab that. And uh, DC Nation number two is coming out. That's free magazine that previews new and upcoming things coming from DC Universe. You can pick that up. And Deathstroke 33 continues the battle between Batman and Deathstroke. And that has two covers. And the variant cover is, of course, by Matina. And it is fantastic. That's going to be a hot book. I would uh, pretty much guarantee that you should pick that book up. And that's by Christopher Priest and Carlo Pagulayan. Uh Green Arrow 42. Uh, not reading that, but that also has two covers, a really cool Mike Grill variant for that by Magreed Scott and Matthew Clark. Green Lantern's number 50. Don't usually pick this book up, but it's 50, so I'll pick it up. Most likely both covers. The regular cover is uh, Mike Perkins, and the variant cover is by Chris Stevens. That is written by Dan Jurgens with art by Mike Perkins. Harley Quinn, 45, has two covers, of course. The variant cover is by Frank Cho, by Sam Humphreys, and John Timms. Justice League, number three, two covers. Uh, Jorge Jimenez cover, and Jim Lee drawing Hawk Girl. This book is on fire. Can't wait to see what they do with... Uh, What's his name? The military Green Lantern who has become the ultraviolet lantern. That should be uh, pretty good. And The Man of Steel concludes this week with issue number six, written by Brian Michael Bendis and the best artist on the series thus far, Jason Fabach. Uh, Nightwing 46, not really into Nightwing, but has a real cool variant cover by Ben Oliver. Uh, the Unexpected number two by Steve Orlando and Carrie Nord. And that is it for the DC books. 
going down to image this week. What do we have? We have death or glory number three that has two covers, a variant cover by Farrell. Darumple, can't pronounce that. And that is written by Rick Remender with art by Ben Gall. Guess you're super hot if you got one name, right? The Last Siege number two, also another book with two covers. Uh, a Justin Greenwood cover and a Gabriel Hardman cover. And that is by Landry Walker and Justin Greenwood. Uh, the Walking Dead 181, of course, Robert Kurtman and Charlie Olivelard. And that has two covers. Got to pick those up. And Spawn 287 with a really cool Matina cover. And that is it for Image. Going down to Marvel, you have Ant Man and the Wasp number three, graciously with one cover, by Mark Wade and Javer Garin. And I believe it's a new storyline on the Astonishing X-Men number 13. And that has two covers. And uh, Greg Land will be picking up the art chores on this. And it's written by Charles, Charles Soule. And the variant cover is by Mike Diodato Jr. Avengers number four. The Egg McInnes cover. Written by Jason Aaron. Interior art by... Ed McInnes, and this is the Carol Danvers Captain Marvel Tribute Month, and the variant cover for that is by Kate Nemezek. And uh, Captain America number one comes out, and that has an extremely overabundant amount of covers. But uh, here we have an Alex Ross wraparound cover, which is the regular cover. Uh, cover by Adam Hughes, a cover by Ron Garney, and to me, which is the best variant cover that they have, a cover by Mike Zeck. Fantastic. And this book also comes with a blank variant. Uh, if you can, you should pick up a few of those. Cosmic Ghost Rider, number one. Another book with 50 covers, but um, got the regular cover, uh, variant cover <laughs> by Mike Diodato Jr. And uh, if I would pick up any of the overly expensive covers, it would be the Mark Brooks incentive cover. Death of the Inhumans number one, another book with 900 covers. But um, Carrie Andrews has a, a design variant cover, which is totally awesome. That's written by Donnie Cates. And Ariel Avaletti is doing the artwork. Doctor Strange, number three, by Jesus Sayez. Totally awesome. That also has a Carol Danvers 50th anniversary variant. The Immortal Hulk, number two. Uh, one cover by Alex Ross and a little bit of an expensive variant cover by Gerardo Zaffino, I believe his name is. And uh, Star Wars reaches number 50. That also has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven covers. <laughs> but I'm only showing the regular cover by Travis Charest and the David Marquez variant of Darth Vader. Weapon X, number 20, by Greg Pack and Ricardo Lopez or Ortiz. And X-Men Goal 31, by Mark Guggenheim and Perry Perez. As far as independence, I don't know if we have too many of those this week. I was uh, laughingly looking at Jim Henson's Beneath the Dark Crystal, just because I am a fan of that. And the cover A and cover B look very nice on that. And I believe that is it for this week. Make sure you get out. Most comic books will not be open on the 4th. Uh, 
I know the comic book shop I go to, Bailey's. He's having a midnight release. So you should all try to go over and get to your books. And uh, just have a safe and happy 4th of July. Uh, I'll see you next week. Take care.